Welcome to another edition of Phenomenal English. In this episode, I'm going to treat a topic that I believe will very much interest you. It was inspired by one of uh, our friends, or if I should say, one of our students in the Phenomenal English uh, class. Um, on, the person was commenting on one of our past um, editions, episodes of our uh, of the program and she I, I don't need to mention the name but she just said more grease to your elbow and I felt like oh, is this person asking me to go and maybe splash uncle cream or whatever types of cream on my uh, cream on my elbow that idiom is one of those that have been corrupted over time uh, the genesis of search one might not be able to tell but in our society, certain problems, certain errors are associated with the use of uh, idioms. I start with more grease to your elbow. The correct expression is more power to your elbow. More power to your elbow, not more grease to your elbow. I'm going to take like a five or such. What about this? You know, people say uh, when they want to describe someone, who is deceitful uh, on the outside the person can look like a very uh, a gentleman somebody who thinks uh, positively about you but within that person the person is deceitful so that behind you uh, maybe uh, he or she can even uh, be doing things that could be harmful to you then we describe that person idiomatically as snake in the grass a snake in the grass not a green snake under the green grass. There is no English idiom like a green snake under the green grass. The correct idiom is simply a snake in the grass. Let me also take this. It is a very common thing to say that somebody got maybe something worthy, something beautiful. They say the person got it on a platter of gold. That the person got that on a platter of gold on a platter of gold is also a corrupted idiom it does not exist in english language what you are supposed to say in that instance is on a silver platter i got the award on a silver platter they won the uh, competition on a silver platter not on a platter of gold or he became the king on a silver platter not on a platter of gold there's another idiom that many people like to use uh, once they say that um maybe some someone has done something that is profitable and the person makes money and the, the money is so substantial that uh, it is something that he or she has to take to the bank maybe once or even more than one time. And you say that, oh, and I will begin to smile to the bank, to smile to the bank. The, the, the expression sounds interesting and uh, even musical, rhythmic, enviable, yet it is very wrong. I will laugh all the way to the bank. I will laugh all the way to the bank. That is the correct expression, not I am going to smile to the bank. Lastly, in this episode, there is another idiom that has been bastardized, corrupted if you like, and that is buckle up, buckle up. You remember when someone has, uh, is doing something and uh, he or she has not been successful enough or he has not recorded uh, a pass what do we normally tell the person they will say that oh you have to buckle up in fact our teachers say this a lot the meaning of buckle up is different from what we have in mind in that circumstance english can be somehow nasty and maybe this applies to all languages because when the meaning that you think that a particular expression will have it may not eventually be the meaning that the owners of the language gave it what you are supposed to say in that instant is buckle down. 
you have to buckle down. To buckle down means what? You have to put in more effort. You have to put in more effort, not buckle up, as many of us say in that circumstance. The correct expressions are more power to your elbow. More power to your elbow. A snake in the grass. A snake in the grass. On a silver platter. On a silver platter. Laugh all the way to the bank. And so, for us to do better in English language, we have to buckle down. Thank you very much. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Phenomenal Hub. Thank you very much.